Okay, so uh, have you heard this? The Grammys are going to Disney. Whoa, hold on, really? Like Mickey Mouse ears on the golden gramophones? Uh huh. Yeah, well, maybe not quite that literal, but, you know, close enough. We're going deep on this whole Grammy shakeup this week. Yeah. You know, they're ditching CBS after like forever and heading over to, well, Disney. All right, so ABC, I'm guessing. Yeah, ABC, but it's bigger than that. Think Disney Plus, think Hulu, think, you know, the whole empire. Wow. Okay. That's that's a pretty big deal. I mean, everyone knows the Grammys, right? But why should we really care about, you know, which company is broadcasting it? Exactly. It's not just about, you know, flipping channels. This is about how these giant companies are calling the shots on what we watch, where we watch it, even how we experience something as big as the Grammys. Yeah. And that matters. Okay. I'm listening. Lay it on me. What's the backstory here? Well, get this. The Grammys and CBS. They've been together for like 50 years. Five. Zero. That's like a lifetime in TV land. Yeah, that's a serious partnership for sure. So yeah. what happened? How did Disney even get in the picture? Well, sources say CBS just couldn't make a deal happen, you know, within the time they had. And Disney, they swooped right in with a 10-year contract. Grammys are locked in with them till 2036. Wow, that's a power move right there. Disney's playing the long game. They're already huge in streaming, but now they're grabbing live events too. Oh, and get this. In 2027, ABC is going to be hosting the Grammys, the Oscars, and the Super Bowl, all in one year. Whoa, triple crown right there. Yeah. That's going to be one heck of a year for them. But what's Disney's angle here? Why the Grammys? Well, good question. Dana Walden, who's like the big boss over at Disney Entertainment, called the Grammys a crown jewel. They're talking about elevating the experience. Makes you think, right? Elevating? Hmm, what does that even mean? New formats, more interaction. Are they going to throw in some virtual reality on Disney Plus or something? Possibly. Well, Imagine watching the Grammys on ABC and then, bam, you switch over to Disney Plus for, like, exclusive interviews, never-before-seen performances, behind-the-scenes stuff. See, now that would be cool. They could really change the whole award show game. I mean, think about it. Award shows have been kind of struggling lately, haven't they? Totally. Back in 2013, the Grammys had almost 40 million viewers. Hmm. Nowadays, it's down to like 17 million. Ouch. That's a big drop. Social media and streaming, they've really changed how people, you know, watch stuff. This Disney Plus thing could be their way to get those viewers back. Yeah, it's a big gamble, but it's interesting how Disney and the Recording Academy, they're both like on the same page. Mm -hmm. Harvey Mason Jr., the Academy CEO, he's been talking about how they both want to shake things up, how Disney really knows how to support creators. Oh, that's a good point. It'll be interesting to see what that actually looks like in practice, though, right? Will Disney's influence bring in more kinds of music, more diverse artists, or will it get even more commercial? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? Mm. I mean, are we witnessing like a Grammy renaissance here? Or is this just another step in how entertainment has changed? It makes you think, doesn't it? This whole Disney move just throws up so many questions about the future of music awards. Yeah. It shows the whole thing. Totally. And it's going to be wild to see how it all unfolds. So next time you're watching the Grammys, remember there's a lot more going on behind the scenes. It's not just about the music anymore. It's about the whole future of how we experience entertainment. Crazy, right? It is. Definitely food for thought. It really is.